Well, hi, welcome. This is uh, this is uh, thrift store CD finds uh, number two video here, and uh, kind of a continuation of my first. I I didn't even do that little trick that people sometimes do where they change their shirt. You know, I'm I'm, I'm doing this in the same session or whatever of my first uh, uh, CD video here. So so let's get on with more of the finds here. This is a this is a great album I I bought this new back in the day and I think it was like 94 maybe 94 95 can't believe it's been like 20 20 years ago um, where does the time go anyway but this is this is whole whole live through this this is a great record if you like guitar like punk punk guitar or whatever I don't know what you think of Courtney Love or whatever but I I love this record this is a great record to play in the in the car or whatever. Um, there's a performer, I, I bought one of her records new back in the day and this, I found some other ones here too. This is Nancy Griffith, Flyer. She's kind of like, she's from Texas, she's kind of like in, kind of like full country, I guess. Um, I didn't even notice she's on a bicycle there. You gotta love that. I love anyone who's has what, into bicycling I, is a friend of mine there. Now this is actually kind of a cool find too. I I believe this these were this was the band that preceded Pearl Jam or some of the members. But this is Mother Mother Love Bone, and I I don't think I played this one yet. What how much is this? A buck ninety nine. So it was kind of a lucky find there. Mother Love Bone. Um, I'm kind of a big Pretenders fan, and I played this record through. It's a great record. I I never found this one on. Uh, Vinyl. I have all all their early records, like the first four or five albums on vinyl. But this is the Pretenders, uh, last of the Independents. In fact, on the day I'm making this video, this was Sunday on the, the CBS Sunday Morning Show. They had a a, a, um, a segment on Chrissy Hind or whatever in her history uh, in music. And it was pretty 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 well done uh, a segment there. Um, I have I have the second album also by Garbage. This is Garbage 2.0. Um, I didn't like this one as much as the original, their debut record, but it's still still great record there. And then sometimes you come across some of these generic kind of uh, records, um, kind of like a compilation kinds of records like that. This is something called Classics for Relaxation. So I haven't played this one yet, but you know, buck ninety nine, can't go wrong. Um, I think, I don't really know too much about Kathy Matea. I mean, she's kind of like, kind of country, I guess. Um, but I thought I'd buy this one. I think this was a, I think this was like a dollar. I can't recall. I don't have a price on it, but, uh, should be pretty good. Um, I got, got here $2. This is the Cranberries. Um, I have another record by them that I bought new back in the day. I can't remember what their hit was. Um. I can't even read this here. Um, no need to argue. Okay, so that's that one there, cranberries. And here's one that's actually still sealed. It's uh, by a band called Surrender Dorothy. Sometime, someplace, for a dollar ninety nine. So I thought, well, it's brand new for two bucks. I probably can't go wrong there. So that's that's the latest bunch there. Like I said, I got more to show you in other videos. I want to keep these videos short because I know that, you know, I made vinyl videos and I'm still going to make vinyl videos, but I have a, a way of kind of going long and a lot of people, they're not really into that, I guess. Um, they have so many things to watch. But but something I want to show you, a couple of things. Um, when If you buy a player or whatever, you don't, you kind of want to dust it out, clean it out. Um, you never have to... A lot of nice thing about the older players or whatever, you don't have to worry about getting the lens dirty. The lens is way far in there. Um, but like for taking care of the drawer or whatever, I showed this in, in the last video. Like use something like this to clean out the drawer area, or whatever. So it keeps kind of repels dust. And if you do, sometimes if you have a CD that has scratches, that maybe if your player is it's skipping, it would help to me. You could get something like this. A scratch repair kit or whatever. I haven't, I haven't had to use this yet, although I have a DVD um, 
the Beatles anthology. I bought I bought this box set, the Beatles anthology, the DVD set, and one of the discs in there had like a, a, a scratch or something, and it never really I've never really been able to watch it, and that's why I bought why I bought this. I I gotta really try to polish that out, and maybe that that DVD uh, will be watchable out of that. So, but this is actually for for any kind of a uh, uh, disc like that, this DVD or uh, music CD compact disc there. So, so that's some of my hints for taking care of uh, of your stuff. And uh, the nice thing about a D uh, uh, a home DVD player, um, if you get a decent one and you hook it up like I do, I have a that analog amp. Um, you really get the the sound the uh, sound potential of of the CDs, especially if you have good speakers, or if you have some good home style um, headphones. You really get the potential of what of what the sound on the CD was and it's like if you, you younger ones I don't know you grew up you know it's like the CD seems like ancient history to you or maybe your parents were into them or whatever and now you you have a, your you know your phone with your mp3 files or whatever with those little earbuds you're not you're not really hearing the quality of sound that that even a CD has so you, an mp3 file for instance is much more compressed um, it doesn't have the kind of dimension, um, stereo or not, you know, of of what a, an audio CD had. Especially when you play it on, on a good home uh, amplifier or whatever. But one thing, I, one thing I would warn you though, if you have, you, maybe if you have an older, if you have a newer amplifier, whatever, a digital amplifier, um, you can like turn that that volume, and it doesn't seem to really go much higher, you know, it's you can turn it quite a ways, but an older an analog amplifier, even if it's just like 30 watts per channel or whatever, you turn that volume a little bit and you could easily overload your if your speakers, even if they're good speakers or whatever, or you could, your neighbors could call the cops on you. I mean, I, 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 I've been playing this, this player with my, this JVC analog amp, for instance, and I just turn the volume a little bit and it's like, it's like as loud as I would ever need it to be, you know what I'm saying? So that's like one thing to think about. And if you, it's, but I gotta say though, then an older analog amplifier really seems to to um, enhance the full sound quality of of a of a of a digital CD. I don't know why that is. Digital seems to enhance analog and vice versa. So. But with that, I'll, I'll say goodbye for now, and until next time, uh, I have some more finds to show you. So, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, hope to see you here again uh, real soon. Bye.